Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, uh, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions according to the given information. Here the information is about what number of students studying in various colleges from various faculties. So here the information is about uh, total number of students, uh, those who are studying in uh, uh, various colleges. Here the colleges are H, I, J, K. These are the various colleges and each and every value. All the values are given in terms of uh, thousands. All the values are given in terms of thousands and various faculties which are nothing but uh, no, uh, that is arts, science and commerce. These are the various faculties and uh, each and every value which is provided in the graph that is uh, that is uh, you know in terms of uh, thousands. It means uh, whatever the value is given you need to multiply the value with 100. Suppose for example here 51.2 is there for arts uh, from the college H. It means that you need to multiply 51.2 with uh, 1000 in order to get the exact value okay now based on this information we need to solve the questions uh, from this uh, diagram okay <clears throat> look at the first question what is the difference between total number of students studying in college h and those studying in college k here we need to calculate the difference between total number of students studying in college h and total number of students studying in college K. First, I will take college H. After that, I will take college K. And then I will take the difference between these two. First, I will add one by one. Here, college H, arts is equal to 51.2. 51.2,000. 51 so, I need to multiply that value with 1,000. So, it va this value becomes uh, 51,200. And the second value signs 40,000 second value 40,000 third value 36.5 which is commerce you need to multiply with 1000 36,500 and then similarly k k in arts uh, that is uh, 30,000 30,000 whereas coming to science 56,000 56,000. Last one, commerce, 25,000. Commerce, 25,000. First, add individual values and then you can uh, subtract those two. Here, the units place 0, tens place 0. Now, coming to hundreds place, 2 plus 5, 7. Next one, 1 plus 6. 1 plus 6, 7 again. 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 3, 12. This is the value of uh, total value of college H. Whereas coming to college K, here the units place 0, tens place 0, hundreds place is also 0. Coming to thousands place 6 plus 5, 11, 1 is carry forward, 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 1, 11. 1,11,000. Whereas coming to this one, 1,27,700. Now we need to calculate the difference between those two. 127,700 minus triple one triple zero. Subtract those two values, you will get the answer. Here two zeros common, 7 minus 0, 7. 7 minus 1, 6. 2 minus 1, 1. 16,700. 16,700. That is the required difference between the total number of uh, students studying college H and total number of students studying in college K. That is our required answer. 16,700. Among the options that is option C is the right answer. 16,700. Let us look at the second question. What is the total number of students studying in all colleges together? All colleges together. Here just now we calculated college H and college K. College H total value just now we calculated that is 
once you get the values college h total that is 127700 whereas college k college k is equal to 111 000 000 now we need to calculate the remaining two colleges i and j together i and j together i value and j value first i will take a i i value see here i is equal to first one 62000 next second one 50000 second one 50000 third value 33,000. Third value 33,000. Add all these three. Here three zeros common. 2 plus 3, 5. 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 3, 14. Four, 1 lakh 45,000. Next coming to J. J is equal to first value in arts 44,000. Second value 30,000. Second value 30,000. Third value, 60,000. Third value, 60,000. Now, you can add all these values. Three zeros and then four. Here it is uh, four plus three, seven, seven plus six, uh, seven plus six, 13. One lakh 34,000 and this is one lakh 45,000. This one, one lakh 27,700. 1,11,000. Now, we need to find out total number of students studying in all colleges together. Add all the values. H is equal to 1,27,700. I is equal to 1,45,000. And next, J is equal to 1,34,000. J is equal to 1,34,000. K is equal to 1,11,000. Add all these three values. Uh, all these four values. Here units place 0. Tens place 0. Coming to hundreds place 7. Next. Uh, from here onwards. 7 plus 5. 12. 12 plus 4. 16. 16 plus 1. 17. 1 is a carry forward. 1 plus 2. 3. 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4. 7. 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 1, 11. Again, 1 carry forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 lakh 17,700. 5, 1, double 7, double 0. Once you look at the options, 5, 1, double 7, double 0, which is option C. Option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. Next question. What is the respective ratio of the students from the faculty of science from colleges H and I together to those uh, first science? Science from which colleges? Science from H and I. H and I together to the students uh, from the same faculty from the colleges J and K together. Same faculty in the sense... Uh, that is a science only, but the college is a J and K. But the college is a J and K. Now we can add all the values. See, H and I science. First, uh, science is the white portion of the region among the given bar graph diagram. See, H is equal to 40 and uh, I. I is equal to 50. Here this value 40 plus 50. Whereas, science uh, and J and K colleges, 30 plus 56, 30 plus 56. Now, you can add these two. Here it is 90 and this one is, uh, if you multiply with 1000, it is not a difficult, uh, even though if you multiply with 1000, both the sides it will cancel. Why? Because all the values are given in terms of 1000, right? 1000 into 90. Here also you need to write 1000 into 30 plus 56 that is 86. Here both sides 1000 uh, will cancel anyhow. 
that is the reason why it is not required to multiply with 1000 in this case. Now you can uh, cancel with 2 table. 245s, 243s. 45 is to 43. 45 is to 43. That is option A. Option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Next one. What is the sum of the total number of students studying uh, science in college I and those studying arts in college J? See, science college uh, what is the sum of science college I plus arts those who are studying arts in college J college J that is the summation we need to calculate first uh, college I that is this one science science is the white portion which is uh, 50 50,000 50,000 plus college J. This is college J and we are talking about arts. Arts is uh, this one, dark portion. So that is uh, 44, 44,000. Now you can add these two values. 50,000 plus 44,000 which is uh, 94,000. 94,000 that is the required answer for this question. The sum of these two values, uh, science from college I, arts from college J, which is equal to 94,000. Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. Last question in this session. What is the average number of students studying from commerce from all four colleges together? Here, as we know that average is equal to Average is equal to sum of observations. Average is equal to sum of observations divided by number of observations. Average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations. Now, if you observe carefully, here, commerce. We are talking about the average of commerce. So, the required average of the students, uh, those who are studying uh, from commerce. Average from commerce is equal to sum of commerce value in each and every college. Commerce means that is uh, this third value, which is nothing but 36.5. Second college, 33. Third college, 60,000. Everything is given in terms of thousands. Last value is 25,000. Write down all the values. First one is 36.5, which is nothing but 36,500 plus second college 33,000, third college 60,000, third college 60,000, and uh, final last college 25,000. 25,000 divided by Number of observations, uh, number of colleges, uh, that is 4, which is equal to required average. Required average in commerce. Add all the values. Here, first units place and uh, tens place values are zeros. And coming to hundreds place, 0, 0, 0, 5. 5. And next, uh, fourth one, 10,000. 6 plus 3, 9. 9. Plus 5. 9 plus 5, 14. 1 carry forward. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 2, 13 plus 2, 15. 1, 5, 4, 5, double, 0. That is the sum of all the commerce in all colleges together. H, I, J, K. Divided by 4. Now you can uh, divide with 4. Here you can cancel with 4 table. That is uh, 4, 3, zero, 12. And next 3 is uh, left over 34. 8 times. Uh, 8 times 32. Still 2 left over 25. 25 means that is uh, 6 times. 1 left over 10. And next 2 times 8. 
two left over twenty. Twenty means five times four fives are twenty. Therefore, the required average is equal to thirty-eight thousand six hundred and twenty-five. Once look at the options, thirty-eight thousand six hundred and twenty-five. That is our required answer. In examination point of view, if at all none of this option is not there, you can stop your answer at this position itself. Why? Because we have only one option which is starting with thirty-eight. So whenever none of this option is not given in the given uh, question. Directly, you can stop at this position and you can keep the answer as thirty-eight thousand six twenty-five. That is one of the small tip related to this kind of problems. Okay, guys, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. And uh, thank you, thank you for watching.